It's two aliens that want to make the world better. And then they overcome problems. And it results that they find Earth at one point through a dimension. And after that, it happens that it, it blows up. And they try to uh, fight another enemy that overcomes their powers and uh, it makes more problems. I wanted to write a book with my brother and we just didn't know how we were going to publish it, you know. And then I met I believe first and I was like, oh, do you guys publish books? And they're, they're like, yeah, we do. So actually the book is in editing and there is to be published soon and that's because of Ability First. After we edit the book we're going to try to get it published and uh, make funds so that like he can print more books and be financially independent. So we're really excited. Unfortunately, his birth mother I took drug and alcohol, so we adopted him. And the drug and alcohol had had impact on his brain. So he has six out of the nine area of the brain that are affected. It wasn't that difficult for me, it was more difficult for the people around me. But there are people who help with that, and yeah, who just help you along the way. The thing is, he has one of his difficulty is the attachment disorder. So at the beginning, it was kind of, if you touch him, if you burn him. So we were needing to take him in her hand to help him because he was baby, but it was hurting him at the same moment. So it was to develop some technique of taking him with a blanket and things like that to kind of have him building the confidence that we don't hurt him. So it took a couple years to develop, uh, but now sometime we can sit and have a wonderful discussion and that's amazing. Can you imagine being 17 years old, passing all your teenage age without any friends? That's mean inviting people for your birthday and nobody shows up. It's kind of terrible. It's, it's not normal. <laughs> so with Ability First, he makes some friends and they are happy to see him and he's happy to see them and just that, it's gold. Sadly, persons with disabilities, we tend to have low self-esteem, and that's the biggest barrier. Without self-esteem, you, you can't go any farther. They can keep it motivated. They are doing the editing. They will take care of the printing. They will take care of all of that. So it's making a huge difference. He is so creative. Every day he finds a new tip or a new trick that's something new that he can build, and his drawing are exceptional. He is like an eight years old in a body of a 17 years old, so that's not easy for him to understand all the change and everything that's going on. Okay. So, but what is awesome is he continue to evaluate. So, for example, he start making maybe hugs only two to three years ago to say good night before bedtime, you know. But now he's hugging all the time, and so. He made progress, and he continued to make progress. <laughs> People should help others, even though they, they don't feel like helping them. Um, even if they have problems, like, even though it's not your problem, be a part of it. Help them overcome it. Because if they have a problem and you don't have a problem, and it, it, everyone's related, everyone's all mixed up together. So if someone has a problem, another person will have a problem. And it just keeps going. So if you just 
um, take away all those problems and you you all solve them, then there will be no one with problems and everyone will be happy. Same thing with the smile. So if you smile, another person is gonna smile and then another person is gonna smile and it's like going. That's a score. <laughs>